Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Happy Sunday. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day outside. I, we, I just came back from church and the sun is nice and bright except for there is a heavy wind in the air. I'm going to be preparing a delicious herring recipe to share with you guys. And if you want to see this, come on down and let's get cooking. So we have our herring here, and this is a herring that was um, marinating in white wine. And the herring that we're using have no preservative, and it is wild caught. I like to use the wild caught herring. So when you think about herring, what do you think about eating herring with? Let me know in the comment. I'm gonna show you an easy, quick fix with this herring and that anyone will enjoy. For the herring, I'm just going to add a few ingredients. This doesn't need a lot. I have a purple onion, some green onions, and some maraviri pepper for flavor. Notice that I'm using all colored ingredients because the fish is a plain white color. So we want, want it to look very beautiful after we finish. So this is what the herring pieces look like. I'm just taking them out now from the bottle. And they're fresh pieces of herring, cut, and they were marinating in white wine and some onions. Look in here. Look, there's pieces of onions and the herring. So it really, really smells nice. They have a really nice aroma. I'm gonna take out about half of this and I will show you how we can get a delicious herring and some nice seasoning put together. So in the pan I have about a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm going to add my onions and I'm adding it before the oil is really warm so it would avoid any splattering. We're gonna cook the onions for about two minutes before we add the next ingredient. So in the onions, I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. We wanna give the fish a nice color. You can also add fresh tomatoes. Today, I'm gonna add the tomato paste. We're gonna cook this up. So we can get out some of that rawness from the tomato paste and then we will add the fish. Now the fish is going in. We're going to mix that up. And I love herring. I also love smoked herring. And when I think of herring, I think about some nice dal and rice with herring or a nice piece of bread with some of the herring in the middle with some lettuce and tomatoes. I'm gonna cook this up a little and then we're gonna add our next ingredients and this is almost ready. Now I'm gonna add my pepper in here. And this doesn't have to cook too long. I'm gonna add some green onions. And I'm gonna add some flat leaf parsley. So flat leaf parsley. We're gonna mix everything in. And this is looking good. It looks like a sardine I have here, but it's actually really, really good. 
So let's see what I'm going to serve this up with tonight. That's it and our herring is done preparing. I'm going to serve this up now and let you know how this tastes. You can eat this with roti. You can eat it with some rice, some provision or anything of your choice. So here is my delicious herring prepared nicely with some very simple ingredients. And this is fresh herring in a wine marinade. Wild caught is so delicious. If you never had this herring before, please give it a try. It is so scrumptious, so succulent, so, so delicious. So I'm going to serve this up now and let you guys know how it tastes. So here is what I'm having my herring with. I have some dal and some rice and some spinach or bhaji. And here is my beautiful herring. I'm gonna take my first mouthful with some of the herring and some of the dal. And this mouthful goes to all my viewers and subscribers. So cheers guys. Wow. So the herring have a beautiful sweetness from the wine it was marinating in. And it gives this dish such an amazing flavor. This will work well with some crackers as well. Some pita bread or any kind of bread or toast. It is such a delicious flavor. I hope you guys can give it a try. So I'm going to go in. And most Guyanese house always have some dal on their menu on the weekend. And I'm going to do some with the bhaji, the dal, and the, the herring. It is mouth-watering good. And this, guys, is your mouthful as well. Cheers! Mm. So delicious so tasty and full of flavor. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will consider subscribing. Please press that subscribe button. Until then, I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. Love you guys. Bye for now. Please remember to check out another great collaboration starting March the 7th, March the 12th. We will be showcasing some Pagua sweet and savory treat ideas and these are the following YouTubers who will be participating.